Hey guys and welcome again to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. Uh, today we are heading out on a short ride, uh, about 200 kilometers to uh, Chen Lake Provincial Park in Alberta. I'm just gonna draw ride solo today. Uh, my buddies are away. So I'm just gonna head uh, through uh, county roads, side roads, through Black Diamond and from there I'm gonna head on straight to Chen Lakes uh, Provincial Park and on the way back uh, I will be heading uh, through a nice road, a uh, uh, windy road uh, that takes me back to Highway 2 here in Alberta or McLeod Trail if you want to call it. So if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe and if you will enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button if you don't like the video hit the like button twice uh, let's see what we're gonna encounter on this trip so right now i'm just uh, leaving my community and heading out for a ride it's a sunday beautiful day yesterday was raining and uh, we came back from, from a camping trip with the family uh, we went to lake kukanusa that's uh, close to US border and uh, the campsite was a big spring private campsite and it's a beautiful location uh, right on the lake and the camping that we had was pretty amazing actually um, it's right on a cliff uh, with the view of the beach and the water was warm and the weather was way warmer than it is here in Calgary today because uh, here in Calgary we're looking at 20 degrees right now and it's uh, 1.30 already so over there uh, the weather we had it was like over 30 degrees uh, daily pretty much except uh, with the exception of yesterday that uh, when we were leaving in the morning was a bit uh, single digit numbers but uh, later uh, closer to the afternoon when we were already all packed up and ready to go uh, the weather started slowly climbing the temperature so uh, but yeah the temperature was over 30 degrees pretty much every day over there and uh, if for those of you that uh, never heard of Lake Kukanusa so like I said that's a very close to US border and the closest town that you find there is uh, Grasmere uh, there's also other campsites uh, if you are interested uh, in a nearby area such as uh, Loon Lake, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. If you are camping with the trailer, don't expect any full hookups because uh, you're not gonna find them. It's just a couple outhouses and uh, no run uh, there's no running water or anything like that. No, no public bathroom. So uh, if you are in a tent, uh, you you gotta wash yourself in the lake pretty much. And if you're in a trailer, so you should have all that stuff with you. Uh, nonetheless, it's a pretty amazing uh, lake. Uh, you can see uh, little turtles in there. Uh, the, the, they call the red painted turtles. So my eight-year-old daughter, she had a blast uh, playing with those things actually. And uh, yeah, there's lots of them. And also you can find a crayfish. In the evening you shine the light uh, and you'll see them. And uh, if you collect enough, you can cook them and eat them. Uh, like we did and uh, there's a lot of crown land camping in that uh, region uh, we were there like three weeks ago on the crown land and my buddy is a DJ and he brought in all the laser lights and the music so we had a nice tunes going pretty much all night till like five o'clock in the morning yeah like uh, there were then everybody was sleeping in uh, till late afternoon and uh, my daughter, uh, like I said, she's eight years old. She never saw such a such a cool light show. Look how cool it's! Uh, fall is around the corner. You can see all those uh, bale of hay. So that campsite, Big Rock campsite, uh, we left on Wednesday uh, morning, and we arrived uh, on. Uh, Wednesday late afternoon because it's like a four-hour drive uh, including a uh, really rough uh, gravel road through the forest uh, to get to that area and like I said uh, my daughter was playing in the water from uh, open to close as I call it as soon as she woke up at breakfast and she was right on the beach and digging in the sand and splashing with her friend 
And the guy that was with us was uh, the same guy that I took the trip to British Columbia with. Uh, so he took two of his kids. And uh, last uh, month or two, like the, my daughter and uh, his daughters, they became my good buddies. So they hang out all the time now and uh, they want to spend the time together. Oh, where is it taking me? It's taking me from through some... Probably through some crappy roads. I was hoping to go towards Okotox and uh, I guess it's gonna take me maybe through some gravel. Who knows? Which is okay because uh, yesterday it was raining. Uh, last night uh, when we came back uh, we had quite a bit of rain. And it was raining through the night as well. So even if it is gravel, I'm, I think it's not going to be too dusty. And uh, thanks God, because actually, look at that. Today, uh, we can see a beautiful mountains in front of us. And uh, because we had quite a bit of smoke, uh, there's uh, fires burning in British Columbia. So there was quite a bit of haze on the sky. And since that rain uh, went through, uh, looks way nicer actually. Uh, the it's clarity of the weather is pretty good. Okay, it's gonna ask me to turn left here. Not sure where am I going, but I guess I'll see. Well, it's still, still paved amazingly. Okay, sounds good to me. Beautiful day. It's actually not hot. That's the, just the perfect riding, the way uh, riding weather, the way I like it. I hate riding in a big heat. I was hoping to get out in the morning, but uh, I wasn't able to because uh, I had to clean up the truck and get ready for work tomorrow. Uh, the thing looked like a piece of crap uh, with all that sand uh, that's uh, all over the road uh, at the camp on the way to the campsite. It's like a litter. It's like a fine flower on the ground and uh, like I don't know like that sand I never seen anything like it before uh, it's literally like uh, you would be riding through fl uh, flower uh, spilled all over the road and you have a big cloud of dust uh, all over uh, all above you so the dust was just about anywhere even on my uh, back of the truck uh, with the tunnel co cover closed I had uh, full of dust inside oh it's almost harvest season the crops are turning yellow or gold however you want to call that Like I said, it's taking me through a gravel road, so the pavement is ending here. All right, that's fine. More fun. Uh, gotta turn off that bloody traction control. There we go. Yeah, like I said, it's not too bad. It's not too dusty. Excellent. Yeah, I want to ride uh, those little bits uh, left that I have um, on my uh, Moto Z Tractionators GPS. Uh, they almost done, actually. Um, we are planning another trip uh, this year for four days. Uh, it's gonna be quite a bit off-road. And uh, those tires that I have here, uh, they, I'm pretty satisfied with them. Uh, there, I put them on uh, after I killed my uh, OEM tires. So that was probably around 10,000 Ks. So right now I have a 26,358 kilometers 
so I'm pretty happy with the lifespan of those tires that I have and I'm pretty sure I can do at least uh, another thousand k's on it uh, if it's a pavement so I will be doing actually a review on that uh, once I get to it and when I uh, I'm gonna make another video uh, how to change the front and the rear tire I will try to do that uh, by using only the tools that I have on my uh, in my toolbox last time I was using the full kit of my tools uh, the only thing I'm gonna have to do differently uh, that I don't have with my toolbox is the balancing uh, well but if you're on the road that's not a big deal because uh, you totally can live without balancing as long as you know how to change the tire uh, in the front and the back then you should be fine uh, that's not that crucial since uh, I'll be doing this at home I will balance that so I will do a, a little bit of a review of those tires at the same time and I show you um, how do they look right now uh, versus new uh, I will have a comparison because I have a new set already uh, in, a, in a garage that I purchased a couple of weeks ago so I make two, two videos, two separate videos, one about the front tire, one about the rear tire. Wow, the, the view is just amazing. I get closer to uh, chain lakes, then uh, hopefully there's not too much wind. I will fly my drone uh, to film it there. I'm not allowed to fly right in the chain lake provincial park, but uh, I am allowed on the outside of the park. Uh, Alberta and most of the Canada actually is not allowing to fly drones in provincial parks uh, or, or federal. I can only fly where I can. Uh, I don't want a big fine. And last week uh, I have completed my drone pilot test, uh, which was pretty freaking hard. Uh, I tried it a month ago and I failed miserably. And then uh, I tried it last week and I managed to pass that test. Uh, Turner Valley, this is a little town. You've seen that probably on my videos that my, uh, on my channel before. Just gotta get through here to head on to Chain Lakes. And I'm between the Harley gang. <laughs> One dude on adventure bike between the Harleys. I wonder if they'll be continuing to go towards Chain Lakes or they'll be going towards Black Diamond for a coffee. Never went through here yet. That's a new one. Normally it takes me through the town but uh, why not experiment something new oh I'm glad I took it I went for a bike ride today couldn't ask for a better day beautiful sky oh, there's another bridge I didn't know there's uh, another bridge to cross that river Just check out this gorgeous view of the mountains. Over the last couple days, there was a, the weather flipped. It uh, totally feels like fall right now. And I gotta say, my favorite riding season is actually spring and fall. I enjoy the beautiful views and uh, cooler weather. Look at all these bales of hay. Farmers are starting to get busy. Oh, there you go, I can get one for my house for sale. Not sure what the hell I'm gonna do with it, but a teepee. Must be natives living here. Oh wow, it took me right on the other side of town. Cool. Bonus. 
elk and bison meat for sale. I got Harley's on my back again. Same guys that I had before. I took a shortcut at the back. <laughs> this little town up ahead, it's called Longview. So I will be doing this trip uh, heading this way. Uh, most likely on Thursday uh, with my buddy actually he's riding a Harley and uh, we will be making the highway 40 across uh, towards uh, highway 1 That was a nice uh, pit stop and I was able to fly over the bales of hay and the farmers had no issues with that. He stopped by and looked at it and uh, so I hope I'm gonna get some pretty nice footage of his field. Another stop for a drone flight is gonna be just across from Chain Lakes uh, on that highway that's uh, going through that um, foothills. All the people are going back from camping now. Next weekend is a long weekend, Labor Day. So by the time you're gonna watch that video, it's gonna be probably quite, quite past those uh, events. I've still quite a bit of stuff uh, lined up to edit. So this is Chain Lakes. So I'm just around the, uh, maybe 10 kilometers away from the camp, uh, provincial campground in Chain Lakes. I just really cannot believe the visibility today. It's like amazing. You can see the mountains are so far away. I will make actually a change of plans and I'll enter the provincial park here on the right just for a few few minutes. Wow, we got 50 kilometer wind. I hope that's further up ahead because uh, I wanted to take the drone footage here on the left uh, to the provincial park. And there's a dam. So all right, time to head back home through the nicer nicer route now.
I will get up a little bit higher through that so I can see the whole road from the, from the top in both directions. Last year or two years ago we were here with uh, my supervisor from work and uh, that was the earlier fall and we have seen uh, uh, quite a bit, few moose here. So from here I've got only about uh, well, less than 40 kilometers to Nanton and then uh, another 40-50 k's uh, to get home. I love this road, it's uh, pretty nice actually, nice views. If I had more time I would take the gravel road because there's a couple gravel roads you can take it uh, through here, I did it uh, last year. Right, so I think I'm getting pretty close to the maximum elevation on this uh, little stretch of the road. What a coincidence, uh, while I was planning the drone I met one of my buddies uh, coming back from the same lake that we went uh, on uh, on the weekend. So now it's time to go home, we got uh, 94 kilometers left. A pretty anxious four-wheeler in the back sitting on my ass just wanted to share that little piece of the road that's uh, pretty nice to go on day trip out or maybe even just the morning or afternoon ride it does not take long uh, it's if you live in Calgary and if you haven't been on that little uh, highway that's connecting Nanton uh, and uh, chain links I would really recommend it. That's a Highway 533 um, and that goes all the way to Highway 22. I'm supposed to turn left in 5.8 kilometers. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be another gravel road or it's going to be actual paved road. Gotta enjoy the riding while you can because uh, the riding season is really short here in Alberta or even Canada. So every opportunity that I get to sneak out uh, away from home, the, I gotta cherish. At the same time, I have to make sure that uh, my daughter has fun, but now she's gonna go back to school. So if I get a days off during the week, 
that gives me more opportunity to ride and maybe even I can take my wife on a shorter adventures and there we go we're getting close to Nanton it's a small town it's the first time driving through the town normally I I go on the outskirts of that town never through the actual residential area something different again so the adventure is getting close to the end and uh, thank you for watching and being with me on this adventure on a Sunday afternoon now I'm heading home and if you enjoyed that video don't forget to hit that like button if you do, did not uh, hit the like button twice and uh, again if you are new hit the subscribe button that's where you stay updated uh, anytime I release a new content I try to release new content uh, once a week and usually every Monday so stay tuned for all my new adventures and how-to videos at the same time scuba diving uh, videos and uh, resort reviews and vacations until next time take care and again thank you for watching cheers